Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie, for those who don't know me, reviewing The Challenge USA, season one, episode four. Before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell, and leave a comment down below. So of course, as we know, the algorithm is picking everyone's partners, and this week the partners are Leo and Desi, Kylan and Alyssa, Ben and Aza, Enzo and Cash, David and Justine, Xavier and Shan, Danny and Kira, Derek and Sarah, Tyson and Kayla, Dominic and Angela, and Cinco and Shannon. So of course, we've been hearing this whole Alyssa's want, Alyssa wants revenge for the cookout throughout the entire season, okay? I know it's only been four episodes, but it's probably come up every single episode. So now that she's partnered with Kylan, it's definitely emphasizing this chip that she has on her shoulder. The number one ally I have in this game is Derek. Me and Derek were pawns in Xavier and the cookouts game. We really want them to know what that feels like. Because of how they treated her, she perceives that you backstab me in Big Brother, I backstab you in the challenge. Now here's the thing for me. I understand what she's saying, but I'm just like, at some point, everybody was gonna turn their back on you. I understand she believed Xavier was her number one, and she believes like if the cookout was a thing that you really were fighting for, why didn't you like let me know, keep me in the loop? I don't know. I just feel like this vendetta she has to the cookout in general, it's like, it's a lot. It's, it's getting old. So everyone sees BB players as shady because literally the name of the game is to lie and deceive day in and day out. Another person who they find kind of shady is Shan. And even though she also finds BB shady, she's secure with Xavier. You're the best insurance policy that I have. <laughs> and I'm probably the best insurance policy that you have at this moment. Big brother people won't go for the big brother people and the survivor people won't go for the survivor people like if they're matched up. So I'm like, this is good insurance. I'm like, yay. At some point, we know in the game you have to cannibalize each other, right? And I think that Big Brother, because there's dissension in the group, it's not the best to feel safe with Xavier. We know Alyssa and Xavier are just, you know, like they want revenge. And although they aren't like outright with it in the house, you would wonder, do they feel a way about what happened on their season? At least with Survivor, people are coming from many different seasons. You just kind of gravitate towards each other because of the show. But these people were on the same run right so i don't know why shan thought she was safe with xavier she was not this week's daily challenge is called falling off the knowledge and it is trivia i love trivia and basically there's going to be a winner's round and a loser's round where the first few people to drop uh fight for the loser spot the winners fight for the winner spot trivia is pretty easy it's normally like a heights thing yeah. So the first question was, which countries other than the one that they currently live in have Spanish as their primary language? Why would anyone say Brazil? Brazil. Nope. Nope. That is incorrect. <laughs> Danny, that was no bueno. Look over again and they're gone and you just hear the roll. <laughs> I'm not the sharpest crayon in the box. I'm aware of that, but everybody knows in Brazil, they speak Portuguese. Come on. So anyways, Danny's the first to drop with his partner. So they are the first in the losers bracket. The next question, I'm not gonna lie to you. I absolutely would have dropped. The top eight most tradable currencies and what country they're from. The Argentinian peso. Incorrect. <laughs> The following question after that was uh, name the top 10 heaviest animals. So sharks aren't animals, fish don't count. Is I don't know if Dominic was right or wrong, but because he's just so strong-willed, I can't tell if he's telling the truth. Great white shark. That's not an animal. They're gone. It's an animal. It's a fish. It's an animal. Whatever it is, I have bigger fish to fry. I don't care. Regardless, his opponents dropped, so Dom and Angela are advancing into the winner's round. The second heat consists of Leo, and I think his partner was Desi. And there's been this thing with Leo where he has his obsession with cats, and people see him as kind of like a sporadic kind of player. However, his obsession does come in handy at this point. Name an actress that has portrayed Catwoman on the big screen. I love cats, bring it on. Oh, God. A lot of the girls have talked about not wanting to pair up with him, and I completely agree. Now, the issue with Leo is, one, he's in the smallest alliance. Survivor only has two people left. 
Two, he doesn't have that great of a social game to begin with. And then now that he shows that he's kind of this erratic character, the women in the house are feeling like maybe he's not the best person to align with. He doesn't seem like he's very serious about the game. He doesn't seem like he has a lot of strong connections. And physically, he doesn't prove to be somebody who's a strong competitor to want to be partnered with. So he did do well in this challenge, but it's likely he's going to be in the bottom in the near future. The people who were in the bottom in this challenge, however, were Sarah and DX, who are now in the losers round. Leo and Desi are next to fall, followed by Tyson and Kayla, which means that Kylan and Alyssa are in the winner's bracket. The third heat, one of the first questions was something about an actress, like which actresses have gotten best leading actor or something like that. Listen, I feel like anybody could have got it wrong, all right? Anybody could have got it wrong, but the fact that it was David, who, no offense, had a piss poor performance on Big Brother and hasn't been doing that great in the challenge. Even though anyone could have got it wrong, it looked really bad that it was David. Sandra Bullock. That is incorrect, sorry. TJ, you and your perfect algorithm could kick rocks. <laughs> He's definitely been trying to prove himself in the game. And although this was like a, you know, trivia, they ask you anything. So it's not really the fact that he's like a bad performer, but it's like, he can't catch a break. He wasn't good socially on Big Brother. He's not good socially over here. His own alliance, Big Brother, is cannibalizing already. So he's not in the best position. And unfortunately, Justine, who's in a really good position, is now kind of compromised having to work with him. This is the good thing about the algorithm, though. Because you're not tied to this person for the rest of the season, she only has to deal with him for this week, and then she can chuck him next week. Of this heat, Cache and Sync... Uh, <laughs> Cache and Cinco. Cache and Enzo drop, leaving, I think it was Aza, Aza and Ben to go into the winner's circle. So of the losers, the first to drop is Ben and Kira, but, uh, oh no, 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 they didn't drop. They were close to dropping though, but I don't know where Ben got this like answer. He just pulled it out of his ass and he happened to be correct. Name an NHL team that has won Hockey's Stanley Cup. I don't know team. shit about hockey. <laughs> Damn, what's the Pittsburgh team? Pittsburgh. Penguin. You said Penguin? <laughs> Fuck, I don't We're know. Down. That's correct. Ultimately, the losers were David and Justine. Poor Justine. Like, thank God for the algorithm, but poor Justine and poor anybody who has to work with David. Now, the thing is, like, you almost want to take the shot when it's a good time to take it, and I feel like... Even if they didn't go into the bottom, it would have been a good strategic choice to gun for Justine and David. David is somebody you don't want to be partnered with. Justine has a bank that you can steal. Because in the future, if your alliance member is partnered up with David, you're going to have to risk that number in order to not have to deal with David in the long run. It's a tough one, this algorithm, man. It just, it really shakes up the game a lot. Of the winners, Aza and Ben drop first, but of course they're in the winner's bracket, so it doesn't matter. Angela and Dom drop next, which means that Kylan and Alyssa win, making this Alyssa's first win and Kylan's second. Now before deliberation, Xavier is really feeling tense because the BB team isn't as tight as they seem to present. I came into this game expecting anyone from Big Brother looking and ready to take a shot at me if it presented itself. If you guys want to throw me into elimination because of Big Brother, that's perfectly fine. Um, if I come back, I'm coming from both y'all asses. <laughs> Just know that. If this is the move that she's feeling we should make right now, it's hard for me not to consider this. I know they like to say Big Brother is a family. They like to present themselves as a really tight-knit group of people, but that cookout alliance really did tarnish a lot of relationships. And some people were able to mend outside the house, but people like Alyssa and DX still have that little chip on their shoulder. Luckily for Xavier, the other people on the chopping block are Cinco and Shannon. However, they're looking at Shan and Xavier and BB is cannibalizing. Shan is known as a sneaky player. It's looking like that might be the route to go. I personally do not want to go up against Cinco, so. Uh, as far as Xavier and Shan, 
How do you guys feel? I don't know if it's a ruse because X is big brother. I know that they're strong. I personally would be open to that one. Now you have Tyson and Angela who are thrilled because again, even though Angela's BB, BB ain't really rocking with each other at this point. Tyson is like, those are numbers that are not on my side anyways. I'm glad that you're doing my job for me. Are you guys playing for me? What is happening here? I am supportive of whatever you guys want to do. Throw it all on Shan, make her freak out, and then X just feels like he was partnered with the bad apple. They can get blood on their hands and the rest of the house is gonna see them as wild cards. Now, do I think it's a good gameplay to get rid of Xavier now? No. I think he's a good shield to hold on to in the future. And I think Cinco and Shannon would have been a better a better choice to to put up for elimination, especially because Shannon has proved to be resilient, even though the first day or two, she didn't want to be here. Cinco, he's going to be a powerhouse, especially if he's partnered with a really strong girl. Xavier was a number at this point for Colin and Alyssa. Don't think that was the best option. And when they got to elimination, they saw that it was a puzzle. And even though they knew sending him in was probably going to guarantee him the win, they did it anyways. I'm shaking my head no because this is X's forte. If he's scared, should I be scared? Do I do it? Do I go with it? I don't know. Alyssa, you put Xavier in there? Bruh! Yo, the tea is hot! So this week's elimination is called Smash In Puzzle Out, where you break the glass to retrieve puzzle pieces and you solve it. If the colored panes of glass are hit, there is a time penalty. Out the gate, Xavier's gameplay is, listen, I'm really good at puzzles. I have a good partner with me. Let's just bash through all the glass and just take the penalty. At the end of it, I think him and Shan had a 50 second penalty while Justine and David had a 10 second penalty. If you ask me, I feel like it was pretty close. Like they weren't too far behind, especially considering the time delay that they had to work with. But ultimately Justine and David did pull it out the bag. Good for David because he needed a win. Now granted, I don't feel like this is the best representation of like, okay, now he's redeemed himself, but at least it works in his favor to be like, okay, he's not just dead weight on your shoulders. Xavier and Shannon are eliminated. Time will tell whether or not this was a good game decision for a big brother, but I do think that they got rid of him prematurely. I feel like it's gonna bite them in the ass in the future, but we'll see. We'll see as the season goes on. As always, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.